As summer ends, a new pattern emerges for our days. We wake up about 6 and begin school about 6.30. And yes, that does seem really early, but it has been wonderful for our days. We sit under our circadian friendly orange lights and begin our day. But as the sun is coming up at sunrise, we all head out as our first break to go outside and take care of our chickens. This is a wonderful time to get some fresh air, get the sunrise, and to just take a break that rejuvenates us and refreshes us. And we get to say good morning to all these cute little birds. You guys have water, you have food, you have know, and whiskey. Fluffy in the bay. All of the birds get fresh food and water and then are let outside so they can enjoy these beautiful fall days. We like to take some time to just soak in the morning, open our eyes to the glorious beauty of God's creation. But then our break is done and we head back in to finish school. Before beginning on the Latin words for numbers, it is a good idea to introduce or review Roman numerals. Temperature. So unicycle is a what? It's one wheel. A one, one wheel bicycle. Yeah, because it's like uno. Yeah. A cat and the old rat. There was once a cat that was so watchful that a mouse hardly dared show the tip of his whiskers for fear of eating. The wise do not let themselves be tricked a second time. Mom, I had a dream. It's also imperative to take story breaks. Uh, we had a bull, I know, heifer, and uh, uh, our neighbor had a bull, so then we were going to breed, and then I could show him. Hmm. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Music is an integral part of our school day, but there's always the distractions. All right, let's go get the turkeys back. Why did the turkey cross the road? Mr. Earth, quit. No crossing the road. Yes, we know you're all pretty. Josiah just started playing the trumpet about a month ago and is doing really well. But what he really loves to play is the drums. About a week ago, this young Doling got a scratch on her eye and it actually was completely white on the inside during this last week, but I've been treating it with this goop and it's helped immensely as you can see. Come on, Dolly. You know you want to come in. Come on, Dolly. Yeah, I've got other goats, extras, extras, extras. Not you. All right, doll, go in. Good, good job, good girl. girl. Dolly here is one of our newer milkers to the stand. You can go back and watch a short that I created of her first days of milking, which were quite uh, iconic and very rambunctious, but she has improved immensely and I'm so happy. And what would I do without the help of my kids? It's so wonderful to be sitting next to them as we do our chores every morning. Ooh, what are yeah, you doing, no. Dabor, Eva? Sandals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Had the most beautiful fall that I've been soaking up every day. We haven't even had a hard frost yet, which means we still have flies buzzing around, which is amazing and quite uncommon for this time of year. But man, it feels good to still be in t-shirts and not have any snow yet this fall. With the milking done and the goats satisfied, we head in, put in some bread for later deliciousness, and then take our strained milk out to our mercantile so that it can be ready for our customers. We're in here in our unfinished mercantile. We've had this for several years and we still have to get the walls done. But Josiah and I have said, with Hadassah's help, we're going to get this done. We're going to get the walls up ourselves <laughs> and so we can paint it and get shelves up and really make this nice. But as you just saw, we've got soap in here. It smells delicious. <laughs> it smells so good. Uh, we've been selling milk and eggs out of this fridge for a long time um, and behind me is our soap. Everything that we use to make soap has now been moved out here because our house is not big enough for all the projects that we have. <laughs> so it had to move out here. I just was overwhelmed. Our house is getting chaotic with everything that we do in our house. So I'm hoping for now this is going to be the place to make soap and we'll see if it works. I just got this burner. That's one thing that this doesn't have out here is a place to heat up our oils. So I'm hoping this will work. It hasn't been used yet. And the only other thing that this doesn't have is just our sink to clean up everything after soap making. So I'll have to have a tote to bring it back and forth from the house to here, but I think it'll be much better to do it out here. Don't you think? Yeah. I think so. Do you guys have anything to say about our mercantile or our soaps or anything? And the soaps, I, the soap is really fun making. It is fun, isn't it? I agree. So yeah, we got lots of, look at all of this beautiful stuff. Oh my goodness. And I have been using it myself. It is so good. There's even dog shampoo. But this soap is made with the milk that we just milked. I mean, our goats are providing us with the milk that we use in it. Our pigs are lard hogs. They're very fat. They have a lot of fat on them. And Bill finally said, I finally understand now why we have lard hogs. So we have been using the lard in these soaps as well and loving it. It is just dreamy creamy. It is wonderful. And uh, so yeah, customers are happy. We're happy. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's just so fulfilling to be raising these animals for an end product like this. It is, it's just fantastic and I love it. Is your mouth watering with how good this looks? But now we're gonna head outside to our raspberry patch. Our raspberries really did take over a lot more space in the garden, which I'm not opposed to. But sadly, we had two really cold snaps this last winter and this spring. We had a really cold frost too late in the spring and we didn't get any raspberries this year. But we are still going to put them to good use. Yes, it will be for the goats. Raspberry leaves are excellent for a goat's health during pregnancy, so these will be dried and used this next spring. You can tell if they're real natural ones or else ones that just come from the roots. Mm, how is that? Because they don't have thistles. Yeah, so I've been thinking about 
Thank you guys for helping. Yeah, yeah I got the books. Now to head inside so that we can get these raspberry leaves dried and put away. There is so much to learn about our goats and we can continually be learning every day to help them increase milk and be as healthy as possible in their pregnancy and all through their life. All throughout the day, no matter if we are officially in school or not, there's always learning going on and projects happening. But right now, I need to get this corner cleaned up. It's gotten out of control. But as you can see, this is where all of my books have been stashed, but it's not very nice looking. So I need to figure out a better way and a better place for all of my books. There are so many boxes. Where do I put them though? And now you see the problem I have in living in such a small house while also running my business out of our house <laughs> and needing a place for things. Uh, these are all my books and they ended up in this corner which is just really unsightly. It doesn't look good. So it's just a matter of figuring out where to put things because it feels like clutter even though it's necessary. It feels like clutter and and it's just it doesn't help our mental status so i think i'm going to take all of this down to the basement even though that makes it a little bit more difficult but at least it'll be more calm upstairs so i'm going to move all this downstairs into our little office room that's really not an office it's just a storage room this also makes me really sad i i get emotional about my kids growing up all of these books here are books that are really just too young for my kids right now and they probably should be boxed up because we have a whole pile of books that are just for older for them as they get older they need to be on the shelf and not in the corner so that's another project to work on <laughs> And this is why it's so difficult running your own business. I ordered, oh, I ordered this book. I ordered my activity binder and I had a few left, but I wanted to be ahead of the game. And so I ordered them and got these boxes and I didn't open them up right away because the top, I had, they had a very small box that had a few more. Anyways, I just opened these and they're wrong. Oh no, what do I do now? There is a full box. A huge box of books that are mine. Well, we'll see what happens and what I'm supposed to do with these books and what to do now. So, I <sighs> can't believe that happened. I can't believe I didn't open them right away to check. But that's never happened in the thousands of books I've ordered. That's never happened. So, I guess there's always a first. Another really important aspect to my day is to come out at sunset and watch the sun go down. Basically, we do our chores when the sun sets. That has been a really good way to get us out during that time. But when you're trying to set your circadian rhythm, getting up and watching the sun rise and then getting yourself out to watch the sunset really helps. It's good for your eyes, it's good for your body, it's good for your hormones, and it's good for the goats to get them fed. They would resent it if we didn't come out and feed them. Oh, oh ladies. Mm -hmm. 